Having a few drinks and um, been watching a few of Archie's videos, and I uh, just wanted to, to welcome him, welcome him back, really, uh, for all the fuckers. Bring Archie back with his uh, speedy on that he bought from Archie. So I, I put mine on for the video. It's there, and I but I've got it on the, the NASA Velcro strap. Yeah, I hope you can tell us a bit more about these third world gougers who uh, are on Archie's case over there. I mean, what right have they got to gouge Archie? I mean, he needs every every dollar and cent he can get to keep himself in luxury goods and keep uh, keep Mrs. Archie Hiromi in uh, pianos and uh, you know Chanel stuff and stuff and things like that. In broad daylight, Gregory Davis stabbed a mother thirty-one times. Then chased her son into a play park and killed him too. And I, for one, am looking forward to, to seeing more of those live live chats between uh, Archie and John. But this is a recent photograph. After only seven years, he's on day release and had a conditional discharge from a psychiatric hospital. Been calling the sucker Roonies instead of fucker Roonies, which is quite quite innovative. The family of his victims are sickened by the decision. The surviving son of Dorothy Rogers told me the justice system has let his mother and brother down. He doesn't want to show his face. He's scared he could become Gregory Davis's next victim. You've got to have a speedy. Got to have a speedy there. And he's, he's, he's an explorer too as well. There's always that on, in the back of your mind because obviously being you know, directly related um, to the victims um, you, you never know if there's a vendetta or if there's, um, I mean, you've got to remember that this person's a psychopath um, and there's no question of what he is capable of doing again. I think someone needs to send him some more scotch, don't they, really? You know, we, we need those those moments where he opens a new, a new, a new gift. But for no apparent reason, he began a frenzied attack, leaving her dead in her home. Davis then chased 19-year-old Michael Rogers into a nearby play park and in front of horrified children and parents, bludgeoned him to death. I mean, I've sent him a couple of bottles last year. Uh, what was it? I sent him the Singleton, 12-year-old, single malt, and the Talisker, 10. There's always a permanent threat that the offender could reoffend, and in another, if not more brutal way, another time. This is a complete travesty of justice. To quote the words of my good friend Gregory Davis, a spree killer. I still have a friendship with Mr. Davis because in case he cracks, I've got some enemies I want to send him on to. I've got to give him a target. Okay, so, you know, never never burn bridges, John. That's always what you've said. Okay, then. Cheers, Arch. Bye-bye. See you later.